Good morning. Welcome to Planet Mojo. I went to town yesterday and picked up the 15 amp switches that I need, as well as some more boxes and other supplies and the long screws for those box extensions. So today I'm going to get back to the electrical work and And the first thing I'm going to do is swap out these 20 amp switches. And we're done. We have 15 amp outlets in there now. Now I got to get to the rest of this stuff. These are the screws that came with this. I got uh, inch and a half replacements, but I did not get the uh, the flat head. I got a round head. Hopefully it won't make a difference. But I think that they're the same size and thread. Hopefully they are. So I gotta get, this box just needs to be tightened down. Then I have, and a cover on it, and that one needs that one needs a duplex and a cover on it. So not a whole lot to do in here. Okay, I believe these will be the right ones, but it's 632, which I believe is what they use for electrical. But now, what I gotta do is extend way back to that screw hole. Which is not gonna be easy. Okay, got those two in, that one in, that one down there, and all four of those. That is it for the outlets in here until I get to this stub wall, which is going to be a while. I'm going to get to this urinal stuff. I got to put the blocking in and the stub wall, and I'm going to do all of that at the same time. I gotta do that drywall first so I can get the compressor in there. So now that I'm done with the electrical, I can get these shelves in. I went out and bought the boards for it. Pretty damn expensive. This I used uh, clear pine just because it's, you know, if you get the other grades, it can be so wobbly that stuff just falls off the shelf. and don't need that 
So, like I said in the other video, these shelves, these shelf pins, these here, for the slat wall, do not fit standard dimensional lumber. So, I gotta open the shed door, rip my boards down, and then I'll get what I want in here, and then I'll put whatever I got left out there, and... If I need another board or so, I'll just get that later, but I think I got five boards and I had one already, so I was thinking three, three in here and three out there, and that's probably going to be enough. So, let's get the boards cut and put the shelves up. Okay, I'm getting ready to cut. I had to unwrap this. This is the dimension, or not dimensional, but this is the hardwood stuff that they sell at. Menards and it comes wrapped in plastic. I don't buy my uh, wood for furniture or anything from Menards, but this just reminded me. Yeah, I was wondering what the hell people use Aspen for. I mean, using it for a skinny little shelf is fine, but this is just a really funky wood for furniture or anything finished because it's so fuzzy. But I did, I did use this in furniture when I was carving it, but then you got to do a lot of staining to make it, you know, look any good. I'll show an image of one of the things I made. I, th I believe the entire piece was out of aspen and basswood because it was so heavily carved. Okay, here's my stuff. I gotta open the door, but I wanna take a look. I heard some big crashes earlier. Yeah, you can see this stuff slides off until it gets far enough, and then it comes crashing down and it makes a big bang. That'll scare the crap out of you in there. Yeah, the tub is looking a little chilly. But it won't be too long before everything is thawed out. All right, let me get this thing unlocked and opened, move a couple things, and make three rips. That will about do it for today. I spent a lot of the morning dealing with this cat who is, she has cabin fever, something fierce, and she wants to be petted every second. It's kind of hard to get her attention on to anything else right now, which is understandable. It's been a long winter, but I did a, a deboxing of this earlier. Not really a review, just a review on the quality. So that took a bit of time too. Just wish I could get more done in a day, but it's not working out that way right now. So again, I do not have time to even clean up my mess. 
I have to go get my daughter in just a just a few minutes so I'm gonna have to wrap this up and go get my daughter and get on with the day job but tomorrow I'm gonna be putting these shelves in I gotta kind of pull off half of the stuff a lot of it got just stacked up high and I don't want it that way um, so I'm gonna try to get another small shelf in here or probably two small shelves in here and two of the bigger shelves I got I think I got three of each yeah I got three of each so tomorrow I'm gonna get this cleaned up get it organized and then get all the shelves in and try to get a few of these items that are gonna stay in here like I got a whole bin full of little stuff that's still in the packets um, I'm gonna empty that out get it on the shelf and then eventually all that stuff will go right here on the pegboard but I'm not gonna waste a whole lot of time on this stuff I'm gonna spend tomorrow getting this as organized as I can get and then I'm gonna get on the drywalling in there I really need to get that drywall lift taken apart and put away and once the drywall is done in there I can get the compressor set up then I can start running the compressor lines out there I don't want to go without a compressor set up I, I did last year and I don't want to do that again I've always had a compressor built in and since we've been here we haven't had the place to put it until we got this shed and ever since we've got this shed I've had to work on places to put stuff because we had we had to use the container for hay for a hay mow so everything had to come out of the container had to go somewhere mostly upstairs so it's just been shuffling shuffling stuff back and forth trying to make room for it but it is all coming together it just doesn't look like it at any rate tomorrow or not tomorrow tomorrow is the rest of this organizing and get whatever shelves are left over out there then the day after that I'm going to put a slit down here and pull everything out of there that I can and get the lifts ready to go and start screwing drywall onto the ceiling so that's the plan so if you want to see all that stuff happen make sure you subscribe click on the update icon so you're notified when we post new videos thanks for watching and have a great day